Big Breakfast. Big Breakfast. Big, 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 big Breakfast. Now, here's one of our most requested wind-ups, and great to put it on tape, actually. We caught this guy, Con O'Leary, a city councillor from Cork's north side, once, fairly tamely. But this was after nine months of Con waiting in paranoia about getting caught. In fact, rumours abound that he told someone exactly where to go on a Saturday morning, that person being connected to a certain minister's office. And he was quite embarrassed about it. But as I say, they're just rumours. Anyway, we caught Con once fairly tamely, and just when his guard was down, and winding up for Christmas, excuse the pun, we rang Con again to see if we could catch him big time. Hello, is that Con? It is. O'Leary. Speaking. Uh, Pat Dwyer is my name from the Avenue. How's it going? Not too bad. Come here, I'm after getting shot down for the medical card. And uh, I said I'd give you a buzz, like, because you're my public representative, you know. Right. Uh, how am I fixed, like? Did you apply for it, you did? Well, we applied for it, yeah. And then you got the farm back in the door shut down, right? They told us, like, you'd forget it, you know. Why? I like, don't know. I mean, well, I'm on £320 a week, but I thought that would be under the limit, like. £320 a week? Uh, like, how many kids have you? Three kids. And the wife? And the wife, yeah. Five and a half? Five and all, yeah. I'm only just asking you this now. If I get a Debbie Court house, I just have to have the answers. Like, is the wife working or? She does a bit of part-time work, like. On the books? Well, half and half, you know. But like, like honey, uh, just when you're off, get that bring you over 400 pounds a week. Yeah, but I mean, a case in point, you know, like, the dog got sick, right? I'd take him to the vet. That the was, dog? That was 15 quid, like, I mean... The, the dog? The dog got sick as well. I would take him to 15 pound at the vet, like. Where do I know? I mean, I just wonder if I did get a card, like, would, would the dog be covered as well for the for the vet practice, like? Jesus, <laughs> they don't cover a dog at all? You, Jesus, you don't get paid to take a dog to a vet I'm not talking like about, I'm not talking about getting paid for it at all. I'm just saying to have the dog covered, like. You know what I mean? You don't get caught on the medical look, car for the dog. Don't get, don't get bogged down the dog, shag the dog. I just want to find out if I'm entitled to this card or not, or is there any few strings you could pull for me? Okay, how much of the total income to the house is every week? Okay, you have 320. Would you put the wife down for 100 that they know, or would you put her down for 80? Yeah, no, 40 pound a week. And do you own the house? Oh, we do, yeah. No rent? No, no rent, no. We have a bit of a mortgage, like. Would it be big, like? Be about 60 pound a week, I suppose. Crazy, you'd never get a pat, like... No, I'd be willing to try it, right? But, like, I don't think you've a hope in hell. But why not, like? Surely I'm entitled to it. But you see, you're over the limit. So what's the limit? I've two cars to run, like. You know, I have health insurance. That's what I need. I need to knock off the health insurance and get covered in medical, you know? You have two cars to run? I have two cars to run. The wife has her car and I have mine. Two I've old bangers, like? I know. Well, uh, the wife's is 94, mine is 96. You have two cars in the drive, right? Between the two of you, you have nearly £400 a week coming in. You want a couple of bob or, or, or the dog to be covered on a medical care? Ah, no, no, don't and get me wrong about the dog. I mean, the dog was just a case in point that cost me £15 today, like. So I, I'm just saying, Jesus, like... that must be very hard when coming into Christmas. Money doesn't grow on trees. It, it is, you know? Jesus, like, Pat, you, you, you could never hope on this one. They'd never go for a Pat. Like, I mean, they genuinely know. I mean, I can ring them now and I can talk to them about it, right? But they just... Second would strangle me. I know it, like. I know they'd blow their cool now, and it would be practically impossible to make an argument. You don't really expect a medical car, do you? I would have thought if anyone could get me one, you could. No, in good, like, but there's a difference between good and being God. Ah, uh, no, come on. Like, a 320 loan, like, you know, you. you Jesus, Pat, you'd never get it. I know that you'd have a million, a chance in a million of even getting it, you know? No, oh, you haven't a problem in the world, first of all, now. In ringing the help, what about that? I don't want you to get me wrong. But I don't want to be raising your hopes either. But sure, that's, that's an obvious cop-out, like. Not a cop-out. All you're saying to me there is that you'll give him a buzz and you'll say, oh, gee, I had some fill on, the, he has no hope anyway. Anyway, I'll tell him I called you, right? I mean, there are people, like, in, in dire straits around you, Pat. Like, they can't get medical care. No, I'll do it for you. You'll get it so, will you? No, I'll ring him for you. You'll ring him for me? I'll ring him. I'll talk to your welfare officer in the area, right? But I tell you something, I know that they're going to ask me, am I off of my chuck? You have no hope in the whole world of getting it, like, you know? Pardon, come on, you can pull a few strings. Just come on. pulling strings now, and they're fucking dragging the rope up the river for you. What's the point? I'm one of the, I'm one of the gang of water for you. I know of a pat. I mean, like, I know you appreciate that. Oh, don't get me wrong, right? Jesus, I would have thought it's the most obvious thing in the world why you're refused, you I'm know? I'm getting angry here now. You're very angry. I'm getting very angry here now. I know, I can understand why you're getting angry, but I mean, like, can you understand my situation when I get up to the health board? Come on, do it, come on, you well, can no, do it, I, like, I mean, I'm not, I'm not your servant at all. You're close to that infirmary! 
You know, you better make that call. Go over this, right? You better make that call and make it fast, boy. Yeah, you're ringing me and you're asking me to do your favour, and then you're me over the phone. You must be joking, kid. Four hundred quid coming into a shagging house, and you want me to get your medical card? For Christ's sake, you, uh, Pat, you, you must be somewhere realistic on this one. Are you gonna get me the card? I can't promise a card. Am I gonna come down to that? Shop. The last fella that tried that kid is still in the f- intensive care. You come down if you like, but if you're fond of the f- hospitals, right, you can take your choice. If you want to spend Christmas at home with your family, that's grand. If you want to spend an intensive f- care, you come down. But if you think that I take this sh- from you when you're asking me to do something for you, right, you're going the wrong way about it. And well, you bloody well know you're going the wrong way about it. You're the one who's making the money, kid, right? Don't you get mad at me. You can't have every bloody service going around the bloody city. And don't you threaten me. Just in case you don't know, by the way, this call has been recorded. I record all my calls coming through. Is that a fact? That's a fact. Well, just in case you didn't know it, so do I. But I have a big difference in my call. What's the difference in your call? Because I have the number one independent radio station in Ireland to play my recorded phone call on. If you think now that they're going to play that for you, kid, you don't know them up in 96, kid. I'll play it myself. Just remember now who's the public representative, a public representative, and they actually up there wouldn't stand for your type of abuse to any public representative because they know well how hard I work in this city. They actually pay me to do this. To do what? To make wind-ups for the people of Cork. Morning, Con. Oh dear. Go on. Hello, Con. Go on. This is the moment you've been dreading. This is Mick Mulcahy, and you're on Cork's Big Breakfast again. Sick heart of Jesus who died on the cross Christmas week. And I told they relaxed again. You were out of the b- way. <laughs> Did you think I was coming down to you? I don't believe, I don't believe it, you. No, it's simple as this, Con. You were far too uh, polite, far too straight on the last one, even though you were caught. We had to get a few expletives out of you, you know. No, I don't believe it, you, Vic. Pat to you. I know who it is. It's not going and feck off this morning. Although it's been said many times, many ways. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Because it just now, in my wildest dreams, couldn't you. be true. Happy Christmas, Con. Thank you very much. And blessings of God in, on you and yours. And enjoy the intensive care, because if it is Mick McCaggy, you're going to be spending Christmas in intensive care, so I hope you're fond of hospitals. And I'll get you in, because I'm on the health board. Yeah. Looking forward to rubbing you up the wrong way in 1998, Con. Good morning. God bless. Thanks for it. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, it looks like you've got to take the downside, as well as the mercs and perks, when you're a politician. Mick Mulcahy.